Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gulshan Shubham and let's straight go to the agenda. Now today we are going to talk about invoice posting policy in D365 Business Central. Now, this is relatively a new feature which we have got in wave one 2023. It means the general availability will be April 1, 2023. Now, this is a very small, but a very good feature. It replaces few of the permission sets, for example, I recently created a permission set which allows the user to post the invoice from purchase order or from sales order. But now with this feature, we don't need to create a permission set because we have this feature by default. Let's deep dive into what this feature does. Now, basically on the user setup, we have got two new columns or you can see two new fields. The name is sales invoice posting policy and purchase invoice posting policy. Now under this, you'll get three options as drop down, which is allowed, prohibited and mandatory just to have a quick look at the screenshot. Now, this is the user setup page and here you can see I have two new columns, sales invoice posting policy, purchase invoice posting policy. By default, the value will be selected as allowed. Now let's understand what it does. Now, if the default option allowed is selected, you have not changed it. It means you will get the default behavior of the system. It means I'm a user. If I go to purchase order, I'll be able to post the purchase receipt and invoice from the purchase order individually or both at once like we normally do. Okay. Now, if I select as prohibited, then it prevents the user from posting invoices. It means prohibited means I cannot post the invoice. Now look at the name again, sales invoice posting policy. So it basically concerns or focuses on whether a user is allowed to post the invoice individually or with receipt or shipments or not. So prohibited means you cannot post the invoice. You can just post the shipment and receipts on sales side shipment on purchase side receipts. Okay. If it is mandatory, the third option, it means allow the user to post invoices together with receipts of shipments. Now, when we click on post, let's say on purchase invoice, we get three options. Okay. Receipt invoice, receipt and invoice. Now we have the freedom to select any of these three options and post it. But now if we want that, okay, when I click on post, I should be able to post receipts and invoices both at once. I don't want to give the user the option to post only receipt or then the invoice individually. No, I want that the receipt and invoice should always be posted at once in one click. So in this case, you have to keep the option as mandatory. Now, basically what it does design wise, they have replaced this alert or prompt box which we get in which we get three options uh, like uh, receive invoice receive an invoice so they have replaced this if you have kept it as mandatory then you will not see this box you will just see whether you want to post the sales invoice and receipts or shipments let's say together if you have kept it prohibited it will just tell do you want to post the receipt or shipment that's it now we will see it in the demo Okay, now the next question, what are the documents on which we get this feature? So basically from whatever documents you can post an invoice, you get this feature on those documents. Now to list out here, sales order, sales return orders, purchase orders, purchase return orders, warehouse shipments, inventory picks, inventory putaways. Now keep in mind one thing, if you're posting a transaction of type invoice from journals, then this feature is not applicable that is a journal and this is a document and this feature has been made available only on documents. So technically you can have a ledger entry of type invoice in which this restriction cannot be put because that transaction has been done from journal not from document. If you're doing posting any invoice from document on these documents definitely then you have this feature on. Okay. Now straight, let's go to the demo. Here, I have the sales order, which is sales order one. We will use this for looking how the feature works. Let's go straight to user setup. 
I'll add my user, which is admin in the user setup. Here you can see the sales invoice posting policy and purchase invoice posting policies by default set as allowed. Okay. Now this means the default behavior. Nothing is going to change. Now I'll change it to prohibited. Prohibited means I cannot post the invoice. Now we have from sales from purchase. So both side for the same user, you can have different policies. Let's say uh, prohibited on the sales side, but allowed on the purchase side. So now here I'm keeping for this demo prohibited on both the sites and I'm going to check using a sales order. Okay, so let's get back. Okay, let's click on this and let's try to click on post then post. Now here you see, I have got the option. Do you want to post the shipment? I have not got the previous option which we used to get the three options that is ship, invoice, ship and invoice. Now I'll click on no for now. I'll go to user setup. I'll click on allowed. And now if I click on post, you will see the user options which we used to get. Now here we have the three options, ship invoice, ship and invoice, and I have the flexibility to select only ship or ship and invoice, and once shipped, then invoice, whatever it is. Now, let's go again to user setup and check the third option, which is mandatory. It means I can post ship and invoice, shipment and invoice together, and I have to post that receipt and invoice together on the purchase side. I cannot post receipts and invoices on the purchase side and shipments and invoices on the sales side individually. I have to post it together. If this is a requirement, then I mark it as mandatory. Let's check what happens here. Post. Now you see, do you want to post the shipment and invoices? It is giving me this message. If I click on yes, it means it will post the shipment and invoice together. Now what it has done design wise, it has replaced the previous page in which I get the three options and very easily they have handled it. So I believe this is a small feature which we have, which can replace your permission sets if you're creating currently for postings. And that's all, see you in the next session. Thank you.